Hey everyone, thanks again for being here and watching my video. Here's another informative video under my freelance series. I want to start by thanking everyone for the support and for dropping comments on my videos. It really helps me understand your needs and how my own experiences can help you out. All the information in this video is based on my own experiences, so doing additional research would really help you too. If you're actively looking for long-term contracts, you can try posting on social media about the opportunities you want to attract. You can start by posting, I'm a freelancer looking for a long-term work contract. It also helps by specifying the industries you're interested in. Writing, admin work, VA, tech. This helps employers reach you better and they will automatically know that you're open to work. If you're the shy type like me and you prefer not to post about your career needs, I would advise you to step up your job hunting game. Look for opportunities that specify how long the contract will be. In job platforms such as Upwork, you're able to see the length of the project as indicated in the job posting. Simply click on the job posting and scroll down to see the project type. You'll either see one-time project or ongoing project. Apply for the jobs that indicate ongoing project because this means that the work does not have a specified end date. For ongoing projects, you are more likely to secure opportunities that last for more than three months. However, there are also opportunities that last for a year and more if the employer or client is impressed by your work ethic. If you're a freelancer specializing in business, design, and technology, TopTal is a great platform to start. TopTal is an exclusive platform for you to provide services to big companies like Airbnb, Duolingo, Shopify, and more. Only the top 3% of freelance talent is accepted into this platform. The screening process is very rigorous compared to other websites, but this guarantees your premium value as a freelancer. If you prefer to build your own name or brand as a freelancer, LinkedIn is my top recommendation. Keeping your LinkedIn profile updated with your work experience and learned knowledge is very important. With LinkedIn, employers learn more about who you are by visiting your profile. LinkedIn Profinder helps businesses find you and see whether you're qualified to work for them. They also email you project leads that you might be interested in. In summary, LinkedIn Profinder acts as your caring recruiter, while your LinkedIn profile acts as your live resume. The platform that got me into freelancing, Fiverr. Fiverr is a reliable platform for freelancers to sell their services in tiered products. You can create your own starting prices, packages, and add-ons. If you want more clients, start working on projects with lower prices in order to increase your credibility through 5-star ratings from clients. Once your profile picks up and you start gaining traction, take advantage of the situation and start increasing your rates. A new favorite on my list is FlexJobs. FlexJobs specializes in remote, hybrid, and flexible jobs for people all over the world. There's low barrier to entry for FlexJobs. Top categories of job searches here are project management, customer service, and marketing. But there's many more. If you freelance for any of those industries, FlexJobs is a great platform for you. 
You can also grow as a freelancer using this platform because they offer events and webinars and give you access to job search articles. When searching for job opportunities across many platforms, take advantage of any job filters. This will help in hiding job postings that are not relevant to your search. Long-term contracts for freelancers are one sure way to guarantee monthly income versus short-term freelance work. Freelancers with long-term contracts usually have a base retainer fee, which the client pays monthly to secure their freelancer. Long-term contracts are also great additions to your portfolio as a freelancer. This gives other clients the impression that you're able to manage an ongoing project and also maintain a long professional relationship. Of course, not everyone wants a long-term contract and I understand that. There are also advantages to short-term contracts. With short-term contracts, you're able to fulfill more projects at any given time. You can also get a job done quickly to move on to the next client. First of all, congratulations to you! In this day and age, any working opportunity that comes your way is something to celebrate. Before you begin working, clients must be able to provide you with a contract. Make sure that the contract is clear and easy for you to understand. Clients usually use a template to create these contracts, so make sure you review each article in the contract. It's important that it specifies your working relationship. It must provide the clause that you do not have an employer-employee relationship because you're a freelancer. You must be independent from the benefits and demands of a regular employee. As a freelancer, you are entitled to working according to your own time. The client can't demand you to work any overtime hours or subtract taxes from your pay. If you have a contract with you now and you have questions, Drop them in the comments or send me an email. I hope you picked up many useful information in this video. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. I'm all about shared growth, so I'd be happy to learn more about your growth. As always, thank you for tuning in and watching my video. Bye!